good morning today i'm going to see about uh, big data security unit 1 so unit 1 uh, we are going to see about uh, security and governance for big data environments so in that uh, we are having the sub topics uh, security in context with uh, big data understanding data protection options uh, putting the right organizational structure in place uh, developing a well governed and a secure big data environment so first we should know about what is big data so in our day to day life we are dealing with uh, different activities so each activity is recorded uh, which will evolved as a big data that is in our uh, day to day life whatever transaction we are doing whichever we are buying bank transaction business transaction whatever may be the things uh, <coughs> so it will be stored in a particular place so this will evolved as a big data so it is a diverse set of information that grow at every increasing rates so big data is a great quantity of diverse information that arrives in increasing volumes and with a <clears throat> ever higher higher velocity so big data can be a structured or unstructured data so what do you mean by structured means uh, it can be a numerical data and uh, it can be a text data that is called as structured unstructured means uh, uh, it it is a combination of numerical text and image video that uh, these are all called as unstructured data so now what do you mean by big data security so big data security can be termed as a tool and measures which are used to guard both data and analytics process so we are uh, storing a data in a particular place while we are storing that should be kept in a safer manner so that we need some tools and techniques in order to protect our data which we are securing so the tools and measures are called as big data security the tools and measures which we are using for protecting our big data that is called as big data security so the main purpose of big data security is to pro provide protection against attacks thefts and other malicious activities that is unauthorized user should not able to access the data which we are storing so definitely each organization do should uh, apply the particular measures that need to take care of the big data security security in context with big data so first uh, we should know what is information governance so information governance is the way in which information is used and managed so the way how we are storing the information and how it is accessed for the different peoples and who are all going to access so that this we need to manage that management is called as information governance governance the data which we are storing that is information which we are storing should be particularly managed the accessing of different people so that is called as information governance so the good information governance begins with an examination into how information is gathered and how the data is kept and how this data will be digitally distributed among different users so this all include the information governance so the governance include how we are collecting and how we are storing as well as how the people they are going to use the <coughs> information so the each organization need to determine the importance of the large amount of data which we are collecting from a different sources so that sources may be structured or semi structured the combination of different security measures need to be applied for securing this big data so the information management deployment committee will take necessary actions in order to provide the security so accessing the risk for the business so data from the variety of sources are include a, a different risk suppose if you are collecting data from the internet means the virus it may be possible to uh, intruder can apply the virus through the websites and which we are getting information from the websites 
so the variety of sources where we are uh, getting the information that uh, having the different security risk so we need to consider all these risks and each employee in the organization should know the roles and responsibility of, of the particular person and uh, each person need to provide a particular security over the data so what are all the security can we can give for the data means the security and governance are corporate wide issues so that should be handled in every organization the collecting data from unstructured data sources such as social media sites that should be ensured that are virus free and uh, intruder uh, not accessing the particular data and it requires the levels of sophisticated big data analysis at the same time we need to provide a different analysis for improving this big data security understanding data production options so we are having different kinds of data requirement different forms of protections so in that first type of production is with the help of data encryption before that we should know what is encryption so encryption is nothing but converting a plain text into cyber text with the help of key so this key may be owned by a person who are all going to use that particular message so in that we are having a problem managing our own keys only the key should be known to the particular end parties not to the intruders that is the first risk and always we need to keep track of too many keys suppose if you are Uh, frequently going to change the keys na then uh, we need to track of the particular keys when we are using so some of the techniques of uh, uh, data safeguarding techniques are data anonymization so in this process uh, we are uh, preserving the private key in a confidential manner once we are using we need to uh, deleting and encoding the particular identifiers so that no one else cannot access this particular key so tokenization in that so for each process the particular token will be used instead of the particular message we can use the allies values for the information so that unauthorized user cannot access the data and cloud database controls in this techniques access controls are built into the database to protect the whole database so that each piece of the data does not <clears throat> need to be encrypted so the entire uh, we are having the centralized control for the entire database so these are all the some of the data safeguarding techniques so today we have learned just the basic introduction about the big data and what is big data security and how to provide some of the securities